Hi everyone, today I am here to bring you a full body Pilates workout using the magic circle. Today is going to be an intermediate to advanced level class. Throughout this workout, as always, modify as necessary. If you need to eliminate any exercises, please do that and just move on to the next. For this workout, as far as equipment goes, you will need your reformer and a magic circle. That is it. Feel free to adjust the springs as necessary today during class based on the reformer that you're working on and how your body is feeling. When you're ready, let's get started. All right guys, so I'm all set up. I am on three heavy and one medium spring. My headrest is down, my foot bar is up, and we are gonna start with some bridging. So come on down to your back, have your ring in hand. Adjust yourself to the center of your carriage. Let's start with the arches of the feet on the foot bar about sit bone distance apart. Ring up to the ceiling with a gentle squeeze inward on the cushions from your chest. Take a breath, inhale here, prepare, and then exhale. Tuck that tailbone under and slowly peel the spine up off of the mat. Gazes through the ring, propelling those hips upwards, softening the front of the ribs down to the hips. Take a pause here at the top, re-engage that circle, and then let's roll the spine all the way down. Let's do a few more like that. Taking a breath, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, peeling the spine back up. Little squeeze on the ring. Finding the apex of your movement, pausing at the top, and then exhaling and rolling all the way down. Good. Just taking some time here to really loosen up the spine, really working through any sticky spots you might find, maybe moving a little bit slower through those sticky spots. Good. Let's do two more like this. Big breath at the bottom. Exhale, roll it up. pausing at the top, and then rolling it all the way down. Very nice job. Release that tailbone all the way down. Let's bring our knees into a tabletop position. Inner thighs squeeze together. Keep the ring at center. Inhale the knees over to the right. Squeeze the ring, exhale the knees back center. Inhale the knees over to the left. Exhale, squeeze the ring back center. So I don't expect this movement to be super big. We really do want to focus on rotation right at the lowest ribs, keeping that ring facing directly to the ceiling, and keeping the shoulders down on the mat. Good. Let's do four. And exhale. Last two. And last time. Very nice job. From here, I'm gonna slide myself away from my shoulder blocks a bit. Take the base of the ring around the base of my neck, right at that occipital bone, hands inside, knees and tabletop. When you're ready, exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower down. Reminder not to pull on the neck with the ring, but actually use the ring as a gentle support for the neck to assist your forward flexion. Let's add on here, one leg extends as you come into flexion and lower and bend. Extend and lower and bend. That's it, last four. Reaching those toes long across the room. Last time. Let's leave our left leg bent and then rotate towards it and come back center. We'll stay on this side, taking the right ribs up and over to the left hip. Let's do four. Last two. And last one. Come back through center, switch out the legs, up and over to the right, and center. Deep exhales here. Last three. And one more time. 
come back center. Lower that head down for a moment. Let's reach one leg up to the ceiling, put the cushion of the um, ring on the base of your foot, extend your other leg long. Let's curl the head, neck, and chest up here and lower and lift our unringed leg. Working a little bit of hamstring lengthening and a little coordination with the other side. Good, let's just do two more. Switch it out. Same thing, other side. Getting that hamstring lengthening, we'll need that later. And just a little coordination on the other side. Three, two, and one. Very nice job. Grab the ring between the hands, cushion and cushion. Lift the head, neck, and chest up. Extend the left leg forward over the foot bar, the right leg up towards the ceiling. Press your ring into that leg. Now we're gonna switch out the legs and reach the arms back. Switch out the legs and reach the arms forward. Back and forward. So think single straight leg stretch with just a variation on the upper body. Right leg is touching that ring every time it comes towards you. Last two, last time. Stay lifted, switch the legs, keep going. So now the left leg is touching the ring as you come forward. Last four. Last two, and one more. Very nice job, lower everything down. Adjust yourself back towards your shoulder blocks. If you'd like to take your headrest up here, I think I will, you can. We're gonna do a little footwork. Not too much footwork today. Just warming up those legs. Heels on the foot bar. Just sit bone distance apart, flex the feet, thighs are parallel, ring is up to the ceiling. Inhale out, squeeze the ring, exhale in, release the squeeze. <sighs> Moving slightly quicker here than maybe normal. <sighs> Let's do eight. Seven, tailbone heavy, collarbones wide. <sighs> Last four. Last two, and last one. Come halfway in, bring your right knee into tabletop, place that heel back down, bring your left knee into tabletop, place that heel back down. Just alternating here, keeping the carriage completely quiet, engaging through the quadriceps, deep press of the heel into the foot bar without moving the carriage. Last four. Last two. Now point your toes, place your toe down. Point your toes, place your toe down. We're parallel sit bone distance apart. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. For eight. Stretch the carriage long, reach to the crown of the head. Let's do four more. Last two, last one. Come halfway in again, lower your left heel than your right heel. So like a little jog, again, keeping the carriage still. Play around with the arms if you wanna add a press on the ring. Good for four, three, two, and lift, last one, keep the heels lifted, turn the toes um, apart, heels together, and now little pulses away from the stopper, little squeezes in on the ring. I'm gonna bend my elbows to the side and push in directly on the ring just to change up my arms. Nice, for five, four, three, Two, carriage stays still. Move your left heel out to the outside edge of the foot bar. Move your right heel out to the outside edge of the foot bar. Inhale, press the carriage out. Exhale, come in. Backs of the inner thigh squeezing together. Last 
let's do four and three and last one very nice job come all the way in come up for a moment let's adjust our spring so i'm going to come down to one heavy spring and then come back down to the mat again to the carriage ring in your right hand your strap in your left you're going to take your ring onto your right thigh bone and press it in with the other hand your other knee is going to be in tabletop for now we're just going to do a long lower and a long lift of that left arm good nice gentle pressure inward with the thigh bone and the hand on that ring and then option to extend the left leg long and just hold it long Good, nice long arm bone working from the underside of the armpit here for four, three. Last one, hold the um, hand halfway forward and now let's lift and lower our left leg up and down from those deep abdominals. Let's do four, three. Hold that leg forward and little baby circles of that leg. Six, five, hips are steady, shoulders are square. Three, two, one, reverse it. Six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna bend that knee again, also bend the elbow. It's hovering over the carriage here. Just extend and bend the elbow. Squeeze the tricep as you extend the arm option to add a leg extension leg and arm leg and arm little squeeze on the ring as you extend last four last two and last time very nice job let's place that strap back and then we'll switch to the other side so place the ring cushion on your other thigh grab your strap if you have a long and a short loop, I'm going for my short loop. That's, you know, it, just choose what works best for you and uh, don't go from there. So nice long arm, a little pressure inward on the ring. And then again, if you want to extend that right leg, you can. I'm working hard to soften my front ribs down to my hips. It's harder for me on this side last four last two check in with the pelvis make sure the back of the sacrum is equally weighted on both sides last one hold the arm halfway forward lift and lower your right leg up and down tailbone stays heavy good four three Hold the leg forward, little circles. Six, five, four. Check in with your shoulders. Three, two, reverse. Six, five, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, bend the elbow. Extend arm and leg, bend arm and leg. As you extend, add a little more pressure on the ring. Good, for four. last two and last time very nice job okay let's place the ring around our ankle bones a little higher than the ankle bone grab onto both straps for coordination so elbows start by the ribs i'm going to hover my elbows press out on the ring a little bit with your ankles take a breath inhale prepare exhale curl everything up extend arms and legs little press out on the ring bend the knees only bend the elbows again extend open bend bend extend open bend bend if you'd like to lower your head at any point go for it or you can keep your head up for the duration 
Last two. Last time, we're gonna stay up in our hundreds position. Inhale out on the ring, exhale out on the ring. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last time with the legs, now we go with the arms. Inhale, exhale. Last four breaths, inhale, exhale. Last three. Last breath. And lower, and lower. Nice job, guys. Take your ring away. Sit up all the way. And we're gonna do some kneeling arm work. So for this series, I'm gonna take my headrest down. We're gonna to come to kneeling. I'm still on a heavy spring, facing the back of the machine. I'm gonna tuck my left toes under and place my right foot on the headrest. Now, if you need a little more balance support, you can press your right ankle into your shoulder block. That'll give you a little more support. Okay. Let's grab on just to our left strap. So right foot is forward, left strap in hand. I'm gonna to come to a high lunge, making sure my back foot feels very nicely placed. And then stand up nice and tall. This ring cushion is going on my front thigh. My back knee is nice and bent. We're doing single arm chest expansion with a ring squeeze. I have my hand in my little loop. If you wanted to, you could choke up on your strap. I am not going to do that right now. Good, four, three, Last one. Bring your left hand in front of the shoulder, bicep curl, same thing. Squeeze the ring, bicep curl the arm. Elbow is shoulder height. Back knee is dropping low. Last four. Last two. And last one, getting used to this standing on the carriage. Very nice job. Straighten the legs for a moment. Take your cushion onto your front shin right below the knee. Bend your knees again. Upper body is hinged forward. Your left elbow is by your ribs. Let's squeeze the ring and extend the tricep. Good job. Last three. And last one. Lower the back knee for a moment. Lower your strap. Take a breath. Okay, we're gonna move the ring to a different position. So I'm gonna take the ring down onto the carriage, fairly close to below my knee. Then I'm gonna press down right below my knee. We're gonna reach down for both loops. Stand up nice and tall in our lunge. Both arms bicep curl. Keep the ring steady. It's actually a little support, right? Last three. Last one. Hold the arms extended. Open the arms to a T. Squeeze the back body. Keep tension on those straps. Three. Last one. Bring your hands forward to the shoulders. Bring your arms up into a Y. Last exercise on this side. Three, two, one. Carefully bring those straps down. Remove the ring. Come to kneeling. Step back. Have a seat on your heels for a moment if it feels comfortable. Take a breath. Ah, right? So same thing, other side. We're gonna start with the ring on the thigh bone, do our chest expansion, our bicep curl, and then move 
the position of the ring, okay? So come on up, switch feet. <clears throat> Tuck your back toes under. Again, my front ankle is against my shoulder block. That helps me with balance. You do not have to do that. Cushion on the ring is on your thigh. Grab your loop. <clears throat> Lift up. Chest expansion with a squeeze of the ring. Settle in. Three more. Last one. Bicep curl. Three. Last one. Take a moment, readjust the ring to right underneath the knee. It is not on the knee. Bend both knees, upper body is hinged over, tricep extension, squeeze the ring. Three. Drop that back knee low. Last one. Come down for a moment. Ooh, I'm like breathing heavy. Okay, so put that strap back for a second. Let's adjust the ring so it's underneath our back leg. It's below the kneecap, okay? Take your time getting your position right. Grab onto both straps. Stack the spine. Bicep curl, in. Tailbone straight towards the floor, four. Arms to a T, extend the arms forward and then back of the shoulders. Three. To the ceiling, here we go. Arms come forward to the shoulders. Your Y, smooth. Three. Two. Last one. Woo. Okay, careful. Straps come down, ring comes out, lower the knees. Pause for a moment. Take your feet down to the floor. Give yourself a moment just to settle, right? And then we'll move on a little bit. So we're gonna do a little standing work on the floor. I'm gonna put a medium spring on with my heavy. One heavy, one medium. We're gonna stand up. If you need to lower that spring a little bit, do it. We will not be in these exercises long. We're gonna stand next to the carriage, halfway down. Inside foot against your shoulder blocks. Cushion to the ring is back on your thigh. Upper body is hinged forward. Weight in the front heel. Squeeze the ring, press the carriage back. Let's go a little quicker. Building some heat. Last five, four. Last one, bend the knee, little tiny pul a pulse back, little tiny squeeze on the ring. Push from the glute, push, push, push. Eight, seven, six. Feel your foot against the shoulder block, three, Two, one, full range, press, just five, four, three, two, and one, little pulse, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, ah, very nice. Come around to the other side. So we're moving fairly quickly during this whole class. Line yourself up. Inside foot against your shoulder blocks. Halfway down the carriage. Find that upper body hinge. Bend both knees. Ring is on the outer thigh. Full range, press. Good, add the squeeze of the ring, find your pace. Weight is on that front heel for five. 
whole posterior chain is active here. Last two, last one. Come halfway in, little pulse back. Really push the heel actively into the block. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and again, slow for five, or big range, four. Last one, and pulse it. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right. Come down to one heavy spring one more time. Take your left foot onto your shoulder block. We're in half kneeling here. Grab onto your short loop and your ring. Let's rotate away from the um, risers. So take a breath, inhale, get taller. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, back center. As you rotate away, try to keep your knee pressing back, hip dropped, so you simultaneously get this like hip opener on that left side. Rotate. Nice long arms for four. Last two. Last one. Bend the elbows out to the sides, rotate, press, bend, return. Rotate, press, bend, return. Just three, two, last time, nice. I'm gonna switch it out to one medium spring. Same half kneeling position, arms overhead reaching towards your uh, left knee, up and over to the right, up and over to the left. Good. So I'm actively trying to squeeze the rib and hip together. Last three here. Fighting to be between two narrow, narrow panes of glass, even that front knee. Last two. One more. Good. Place that strap down. Turn around. Switch out your feet. We're going to stay on this spring so that we can do our lateral flexion. And then we'll adjust it. Grab onto your loop. Grab onto your circle. Arms overhead. Side bend. Open up the hip. Three. Two. And one. Good, bring the ring down. Adjust yourself if you'd like back to that heavy spring. Long arm rotation. Open up the hip, drop the hip. Nice. You could be on long loop here. Last two here. I'm on short loop just because I like the range of motion that it provides me with, but choose your poison. Last one. Bend the elbows out to the sides. Rotate, press. Drop the right hip, rotate, press. Last three. Last time. Good. Place that loop back. Come on down to seated for a moment. I'm gonna put on a medium spring with my heavy. One heavy, one medium. We're gonna come down onto the mat. I'm gonna leave my headrest down. You can lift yours up for now if you'd like. We'll do some legs and straps or single legs and straps. So I'm gonna put my right foot in my right loop. I'm gonna take that ring. This is awkward to get into. 
Now take the ring behind the right ankle and in front of the left ankle. And then stretch the legs up. Ooh, take your time with this because it is just awkward to get into. Straighten out the feet. And now we're gonna lower and lift the legs. We're not gonna be here long, guys. Little pressure in between the ring. And this is a pretty heavy spring, so <clears throat> you could be on a heavy as opposed to a medium and a heavy. I know that we're gonna do short spine in a moment and I like to have at least a medium and a heavy on for short spine, so you can adjust you know, in between the exercises if you'd like. Last three and two and last one. Let's try short spine, but we're gonna eliminate the leg bend. So we're just gonna go up and over, lift the hips and then roll down and lower the legs. Up and over, lift the hips, lower it down, lower the legs. Just two more and then we just totally switch sides. Last time. Bend the knees, Woo. take that ring out. Ah, while we're here, let's just take a stretch for that top leg, hamstring stretch. If you'd like to bring your left leg, sneak it down to the floor, you can open up that front hip. You can bring your leg out to the side, stretch the inner thigh, that feels amazing. Nice job. Bring your leg back center and now bring your other foot up onto the foot bar for a moment. Press yourself out. This is um, maybe hard to see, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right foot down towards the floor on the outside of the reformer, letting my knee bend, my toe reach backwards, and then I'm letting my strap take my foot towards the risers so I can get a nice front of the thigh and hip flexor stretch here. It'll be easier to see on the other side. Good. Take as much time as you need here just to relax. And then when you're ready, I like to grab onto my strap just so that I can get my foot back in front of me to protect my knee. And then we'll take that strap off and do the same on the other side. So strap goes back. Other side, left foot goes in. All right, now's the awkward part. And I have an anklet on, even worse. But <laughs> we're gonna take that ring onto the front of one ankle, the back of the strapped ankle. Adjust yourself here because you really wanna feel as stable as you can in your ring positioning before we move. Once you've got it, straighten out both ankles. Little pressure in on the ring. Lower the legs forward. Lift the legs up. Smooth movement. Ooh. Nice. I have way smaller range on this side. You may as well. Last three. Try not to lock out the knee but almost feel like you're pushing something upwards with the shin. Last one, and now short spine. Lift the hips, lower the hips, bring the legs forward. Just three more, roll it up, lift, lower, lower the legs. Last two. Last time. Bend the knees, grab that ring. Here's our nice stretch. So hamstring stretch. Maybe the foot comes down to the floor, sneak it in between those springs. Take the leg out to the side. Take your foot onto the foot bar, your right foot, and then here we go to the other side. So I'm pushing the carriage out a little bit so that I can bend my knee, let the strap kind of rotate around the foot, and then let the strap take my foot back. So I'm really feeling a nice opening in the front of the hip and um, the thigh. Just let that ring rest wherever.
Good, press out on the foot bar, bring the foot forward, bend the knee, take the strap off. Very nice job, guys. All right, we're coming up. We don't need the ring actually for this. So just place it down by your, the side of your reformer. I'm gonna come down to one heavy spring. You could be on like a heavy and a light, heavy and a medium, a heavy. I like the heavy for this exercise for me. We're going to come to kneeling on the reformer for a moment, hands on the foot bar. Then I'm gonna bring my left foot forward, still on the carriage, my right foot on the foot bar. Okay, my back leg is nice and straight. I'm feeling like I'm lifting through the hamstring and then I'm just gonna straighten and bend my front leg. You can be on your fingertips here, work within your range of motion. That front leg may not fully straighten. My hamstrings are feeling fairly tight. So, you know, listen to your body. Listen to how it's feeling today. Now, if you don't feel like you need your hands, you can bring your hands to heart center. Very balancey, straighten and bend that front leg. Nice, three, two, Last one, bend the front knee so that the ankle is directly below the knee joint and then bend the back knee a little bit and straighten it. Bend, little movement here, challenging. Pulling the carriage slightly in and out for four. Last two and last one. Hands down to the shoulder blocks, fingertips pointing down, shoulders away from the ears. Bring both feet onto the foot bar into Pilates V. Press the carriage away from you. Make sure the hands feel good. If they're slippery and sweaty, take time to brush them off with a towel. Last three. Last time. Hold the hands directly under the shoulders, bend the knees a little bit, and press back out. Baby frog. Three, squeeze those heels together, two. Last one, bring your right foot forward. Hands are on the shoulder blocks. Straighten and bend your front knee. Reset, exhale the breath. Steady. Make sure that pinky toe is as much a part of your back foot as the big toe. Come up to the fingertips. Maybe bring your hands to heart center. Lift the heart a little higher, straightening and bending that front knee. Three. Front knee bends. Ankle is directly underneath it. Micro bend the back knee, straighten the back knee. Micro bend, straighten. Three, two, one. Hands come down to the shoulder blocks. Point your fingertips down to protect the wrists. Bring your legs parallel to one another on the foot bar. Press the carriage out and in. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Three, two, and one. Hands under shoulders. Bend both knees a little bit, press out. Still, inner thighs glued together. Three, two, and one. Very nice job. One knee comes down, carriage comes in, other knee comes down. Turn around. One heavy spring. Hands on the foot bar. Good. Move both hands to the left corner. Press your pelvis forward towards the foot bar. Inhale the carriage out. Exhale, pull up and in, back extension. All the way to the stopper as far out as you want, all the way in. Gaze goes up, sternum goes up. Last three. One more. Other side. Last three.
and one more. Take both hands wide, press out. Press your feet into the shoulder blocks, press your hands into the foot bar, come all the way in. Pause, two more. Inhale out. Exhale all the way up and in. One more. Nice job. Have a seat on the edge of your reformer. Feet planted on the ground firmly. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, elbows wide. Last two breaths, inhale. Exhale, elbows wide. And one more time, inhale. And exhale, elbows wide. Beautiful job, guys. I hope that got your heart rate up, got your muscles working. Please leave me a comment or a question down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these intermediate advanced workouts. Um, as always, please subscribe, share, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.